I'm opening a can of worms once I use uh, the only reason why I wanted to use the uh, H22 it's because I want to retain my Welcome back to the channel Sagitnet 2 another H2B G2B build project I hope you find those uh, videos very interesting I know some of you guys don't like the idea but uh, this is a fully custom H2B setup yeah like I said earlier one glance looking at the plate it's like what's going on here why this motor is sitting correctly <laughs> so that's basically is the idea that's why I'm doing this it's just something different but today's episode I just want to touch up on some of the uh, future mods that I have to do I think I'm worrying too much or thinking thinking a lot <laughs> like how I did this plate how I put it on right after I have well I got the motor inverted and right after I have showed this transmission in I said man it's like a light bulb why I didn't do it that way or uh, why I didn't do it this way but uh, I'll come up with some another blog uh, do's and don'ts I already have a revision one on things that I should not have done from the moment I cut that transmission right there I already got a uh, a revision for it it could be better there's a lot of things to be done and a lot easier to make it better anyway uh, today's blog is about this intermediate shaft h2b is really known for using a b-series half shafts I've been looking around on the internet a lot a lot of I uh, spend a lot of time looking for some particular things that I wanted to see a proof that it can be done I know it I will find out soon but uh, it's better to uh, do some more research for some of you guys that have a H2B setup with a plateless one my question is do you have a space for a power steering I really would like to use my power steering that's without modifying the frame of the car itself now my idea is use the h22 half shafts this is the h22 or honda accord will will work as fine and look at the this where it landed it's almost right on there it's off a little bit still i don't know if the camera could pick it up but you could see right there but the only problem is it's lower yeah but nah I was thinking about doing something on this one it's a, like I said earlier it's a custom H2B built or G2B and by using the H22 there is no need to modify or if there is anything that need to be grind or shave it's only minimal right there that's how much space I have very very minimal I wanted to save the block as much as I can yeah I don't want to shave it too much so back to the idea of using the H22 half shafts I have to pay a penalty there's a lot of things that I think I think this is my assumption I think there's a lot more things that I need to do in order to uh, to use it it's one of those things that uh, I get one right Two will be wrong <laughs> something like that number one I don't have to uh, shave a whole lot right here it will be perfect number two I am able to use my H22 EK swap mounts from here to here that I have to use my EK H22 swap because this is off-centered you see the difference the regular uh, EK or B series mount is right in the center 
this one. So this is off. They made this off towards the passenger side. That way you'll have a space here. And lucky I was able to use the power steering that way. But by using this, this will push the transmission that way. And I think I can still use the B-Series uh, passenger mount for the EK. But I have to modify this, the mounting on this. Remember, this will be shifting, so it's going to be off now. Hopefully, I will have enough room here for the mount. Or I can do it this way. My second option was to use a 1995 to 2000 B-Series, the Integra mounts, where this is actually bolted onto this. Then, all I need is just make a bracket to bolt this to on the frame. The rear mounts, the T brackets, they're all, they already, I already checked this and no problem with this one. And another one, <laughs> I hope I can get this right. <laughs> the shifting rods, it has to be lengthened, maybe an inch or so. Remember this one shifted towards the passenger side. Well, this is how much I'm going to move the, uh, the shifting rod right here. If you move this right at the center, that will give you, that's about an inch right there. Or half an inch because of uh, this will be divided in two. But anyway, those are all my assumptions. The things that I have to face with if I do use the H22. And another thing, I got this one all situated. Now, the CV joints. I think I could use insane shafts for H22 swap. The length of the axle, it's just a 1989 Integra. And what I have thought of before when I have a G23 on Miley, my axle sits like so in an angle. But now that the transmission is correctly placed into the frame, it will be somewhat straight like so. So now the length of the axle that I was using before, it might bind or something or, or it might be too long. I was thinking that here is not much of a problem but this one here it might give me a problem also if I am correct I've been looking on the internet the size of the uh, 1989 Integra axle is 23 inches and 132nd and a 95 and a 93 Integra axle it measured 23 inches and one and a half Even though I am going to shift this transmission towards that side. There is an option Now the clearance here on the frame. I have no idea yet Those are the things that I have to face with But I have to wait till I mark this up then everything will be in place The transmission, someone made a comment about that uh, would it be easier if I just used the H22 transmission and grafted it onto the B-Series tranny. The thought came in my mind, actually this is the first one that I was about to do, but I kind of walk away of doing that, it's because of uh, I'm not a good welder when it comes to aluminum <laughs> that's one one of the major reason why and there's a lot of work things to do because uh, if if I was about to use this I have to cut it right about in this area it can be done 
but there's a lot of work yeah you gotta weld the outside and the inside yeah and then when it comes to this you would have not what do you call it it's not very it doesn't look good yeah that's why I, that's the reason why i walk away of using this one is i cannot weld aluminum i'm okay from little things that i do but not for something you know welding it from here all the way out here and i also thought that maybe the uh, the load distribution it, it's not the strength of it uh, it would not be as good as using the adapter plate so i kind of dish out that idea but anyway uh, for some of you that wanted to see so that's how it look right there so if you want to try it yeah so it will give you an idea of what you are facing with so. it is very interesting project yeah more room for improvement it is the prototype i'm allowed to make a mistake lucky for me i I got lucky that uh, I'm able to uh, to use this, yeah, to the point where our revision will be even better. Would I save some money? Because uh, the only thing that I have to buy is the mount, the transmission mount. If I use the H22 intermediate shaft, maybe. If you have a H2B, a plateless one that you are using on your EK. Let me know if you have space for power steering because I really wanted to uh, keep my power steering. And I thank you all for your support. Thank you for watching my videos and everything. Yeah, leaving comments and all that. So uh, this is where it ends. Thank you all. Bye everyone. Bye bye.